Alright, what's up guys? We're here again with the legendary well-known Stingray, also known as the leader of RSK. Um, you know, so when you hear your name and then somebody puts the word legend in front of it, how does that make you feel, man? Uh, I'm, I'm really humble and really modest. I mean, the young kids nowadays, I, I give it to them, you know, I really, really give it to them. They can, they can kill the man, you know, because we get older, your bodies are different, but that name, like you said, it can't. Can't touch, yeah, can't touch that. So I go with that. All right, all right, you guys are good. But that's cool. My name's out there. <laughs> I already you know. did my work. Yeah, exactly. I, I did my work. Yeah, me. exactly. <laughs> you know? um, you know, we, we heard from you. Uh, well, you were already known as a, as when you know when a b-boy starts. You know who, who started in your town, and of course your name was thrown around. And uh, when when Flow Rock mentioned you, you know that was just like a must for us. Yeah. So one of the things when we heard Stingray, this guy Stingray, how'd you get your name? Well, you know. Ray, and plus back in the day, in the 80s, we had tails. Oh. So, before um, Booyah Tribe, you heard of Booyah Tribe? Yeah. The uh, Samoan rap group. Before they were Booyah Tribe, they were just, they were just homies of mine. They were like, you know, Samoan poppers. They used to say, yeah, Ray, your, your tail's nice, but we rock. We rock tails, thick ass tails. So that's when I started really growing my, my tail, yeah. really, really thick. And I had like, I'm a Leo, so it was all my hairstyle. You know? so <laughs> yeah. It just represented that. Every time, and also in a, in a sexual way, so how you doing, ladies? <laughs> you get stung by the way, you know? <laughs> it is true! <laughs> you know, yeah, um, not only flow rock, but, uh, you know, such as a uh, new gen, uh, new gen or, well, beginning gen of Hawaii RSK. Uh, my friend Josh also told me about you. Josh yeah. and Team King. And yeah. Them. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to you guys if you guys are watching right now. But, um, but yeah, you know, um, so since you started back in the old school, how was it from scenes like back in emergency room to now, you know? Uh, uh, emergency room was the only spot for anybody, for us. The only spot. Now it's like, you know, V doing his thing here, but there's, there's like hungry and raw, you know. They, they, I could tell they've been practicing a lot. And they, they would say to me, like, oh, did you practice? I was like, yeah, I didn't practice. Just, I just go with it, but the kids then from now, they're going backwards now. They're doing the basics. They're, they're, they're doing tricks with the forward. I appreciate that. I, I truly appreciate that. Because before it was the power moves, you know, the flares, the windmill. Yeah. And then it became Halo. The then, flash then stuff. The power, the power. And then now it's the weaving. And, but they're going back to always go back. Always go back to the basics. You got to go back to your roots, man. I'm telling you. So how exactly did you get into the whole, like, the pop scene and stuff? Wow, that's crazy. Well, Big up to DJ Frankie, who was the first, like, from New York. He came down here, he had a mobile system with DJ Rob, and he had this uh, mobile DJ system going around to, before casinos had nightclubs, we ran out hallways and just throw jams. And that was 79 to 80 to 85, 88, all the way through. It was called, like, um, just jams, you know? DJ Frankie had friends, DJ Rob. DJ Rob was my best friend in high school. I was popping, but I was breaking. All the way back there. Across the street, there was a guy named Breaking Mike from DJ Frankie's house. Breaking Mike went to Las Vegas High School with this guy named Baby P and Kid Charisma. So, being that we're all friends, you know, Frankie goes, I'm gonna put my own crew together, which was City Break Force before Rock Skittle Crew. So it was City Break Force, and then when a crew gets so big and big headed, they break off. So it became Rock Skittle Crew and Bomb Squad. So it was all to DJ Frankie from his little connects. Hey, let's start this crew together. Who do you events. know? Oh, I know this kid named Stingray. I know this kid named Kukri. Put them together, we got City Break Force. And that's the whole format of the hip hop. We did Jason Park. We did all the casinos. It was, it was, it was a good kick. So RSK is pretty wide. You, know, you guys go from here to Hawaii. Yeah. How would you guys get it begin to get so big? Like, well. I'm, I'm not going to get politically correct, but I, it, it kind of pisses me off that a lot of people, and you know who I'm talking about, and you know who I'm talking about, they're in my crew, Rock Skittle Crew, like if you guys are your own crew, stay with you guys. I'm going to name it, Rock Steady comes and starts taking people. I'm not going to say no more. <laughs> this is enough. You get it? Yeah, yeah we got yeah. it, we got it. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> but I, I, but you know what? That's that's a that's a, a compliment to my crew. That's a dope crew. I wanna take him, take him, take him. And then they, yeah, rock skiller, rock skiller. When it represents, when it comes down to it. But then you go, 
uh, really represent? I'm not steady, I'm not steady. The last kilo forever. Anyway, you know, it's all good. So, you, you know, you look at the scene now, how do you feel when you see, like, all the, you know, not only the young kids, but then you see more people stepping up, showing off their moves, and they come out places like this, you know, compared to how it was back then? No, back then it was raw. We didn't know it. If we, if we messed up, Ah, you messed up. Here yeah, you mess up, you roll over to another move. We didn't think about that. We didn't think like, okay, just keep rolling and just keep posing. And Shit. <laughs> yeah. We just went, oh, I... You know I mean? I just kept going. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna follow through. Keep going, keep going. That's how I built my reputation. And there's legends out there. It's crazy. I heard you did a backspin to a... to a 90, to... back into a halo. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I that move. And ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm like, okay. Huh. And I was just vicious. I was really, like, I was really hungry for it. I was, just, and then the kids here, you can buy videos like this. They get interviews. They, 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 they teach you on step by step, you know, videos. It's cool. We didn't handle like that. We would stay up at late at night with a, a blank v, VHS going, oh yeah, oh, 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 you know, that's how we got our videos. Like the uh, <laughs> you know? Sorry. Hey, no part you guys are you guys are welcome to the whole fucking get that money from yeah. you know? No, it's not even for money. We can do this so <laughs> people can know people can their know. roots, yeah. where everything started. They can they can have the respects that we deserve the respects. Uh, and just you know, curious, yeah. Curious, curious, curious. curious kids we wanna find out more for ourselves and we want other people to learn along with us. You can hit me up on MySpace or Facebook. Yeah, shout out to MySpace, shit. Okay. Alright, uh... MySpace slash. Well, it's, it's B-Boy Stingray, but it goes 8804. 8804, if anybody's a B-Boy, what does 8804 stand for? Boy, thank you. So... Spell it out, homie. 8804, Stingray with the E R E Y on MySpace or Facebook, Raymond A. Pratt. Check it out. Alright, thank you. Any shout-outs you want to shout-out to anybody crews, anybody people? I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> get him, get him. Oh, oh, all right, I'll get them in a second. All right, hey, then. July 30th, 1966, I'll be 43 years old. Oh. Damn, all right, thank you so much, thank man. Thank you, guys. Mad respect, mad love, God bless. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's for the ladies. Right? All right, man, take it easy. Peace. All right, that was, that was BBI. Don't turn it off this time, Rico. That was BBI saying straight from the Shakedown 6. We'll come back with more. I'll just show the backside.